Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everyone is going gaga on the BMW M340i. But there was a car that started it all in India. And it was another German Autobahn Stormer. This over here is the Audi S4. It comes with all-wheel drive, a supercharged V6 and it sounds absolutely insane. This over here is a tuned version and I want to tell you all about this particular car today. S4 was first launched in 1991 and was a high performance version of the Audi 100 sedan. 1997 onwards, the Audi S4 was based on the Audi A4 and has evolved together ever since. So what makes the Audi S4 so special is that it pretty much looks like any other Audi A4 on the road. Now I know this particular car has a couple of cosmetic mods done to it which makes it stand out a little bit. For example, this RS4 grille up front, the boot lip spoiler and the diffuser. And of course this beautiful looking midnight purplish paint and the fancy looking rims. But if you remove all of that, it looks pretty much like any other Audi A4 on the road. And that's the beauty of the S4. It's understated and subtle, a proper sleeper. Let's check what's under the hood to see the real deal. Now this over here is a 3 liter V6 engine with a supercharger and this comes all from factory. It is one of the craziest sounding engines, sounds much better than an M340i in my opinion because it has the sound of a 6 cylinder engine but it has the whine of a supercharger. It's something in between like a BMW M3 and the whine of a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. That's how crazy this thing sounds. Now. This particular engine when it was stock used to make around 333 horsepower and 440 newton meters of torque. But this particular car has gotten a couple of mods done to it. First of all, it has a Borla catback exhaust system which sounds absolutely beautiful. And you have an APR stage 1 ECU and TCU tune. Now pair both of those things together and this thing now makes around 420 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. Let's hop into the interior before we take it out for a quick spin. Now, the interior is pretty dated now because this car is from 2013. So it's almost, or it is basically 10 years old now. The owner has done one major mod and that's pretty much it. It's this beautiful Alcantara carbon fiber steering wheel. I love the finish. I love the way it looks. Perfect 9 and 3 positions and of course it has paddle shifters. Apart from that, the interior is, well, in today's day and time, you can call it ancient. You have the Audi MMI system and yeah, you won't be very happy to use it because it's pretty laggy. It's not the most smooth system to use and of course it does not have the latest and greatest in terms of uh, mobile phone connectivity. But this car isn't about all of that stuff. This is a car that you should buy when you want to have fun on the weekends and it's a practical daily driver too if you have the roads to use it. So I think so we should stop blabbering around and see what this car really feels like because I'm excited to see what Audi's answer to basically the M340i of the 2013 era was like. So one of the coolest things about older Audis is that this massive key fob over here is basically the startup button. So you put it over here in the socket, press the brake and the supercharged V6 comes to life. I have driven a supercharged V6 Audi before. I've driven the S5 in stock form. So I have a little bit of an understanding of what to expect. Now, this is a stage one car. So I'm expecting the responsiveness and the way this car pulls to be a little bit more aggressive. And considering that it's an APR tune, so it's going to be really, really good. So let's just click down the paddle shifters a couple of times. And immediately, it sounds so much better than the modern M340i because first of all it's a supercharged car so it's kind of more raw in that sense when you don't have that turbo lag uh, that turbo cars usually come with and even if the M340i is a better example of not having turbo lag it still does have some sort of a delay when it comes to throttle response. Uh... 
So this is a 7 speed Tiptronic transmission from Audi. Uh, it still is a little bit of a fragile uh, transmission like the owner has told us that people have advised him against uh, doing a lot, a lot of launch controls and stuff so even I'm going to be babying the car around here and there. The transmission seems to be very responsive and that's down to probably the APR TCU tune that's also been done to the car. So even if you click down the paddles, it's as responsive as any other modern transmission I've driven. That's a pretty big plus point. Let's give it a couple of beans over here. And the DSG farts. <laughs> it's so much more responsive. And that's the plus point of a supercharger is that you have virtually no lag because the supercharger is churning out power from the engine itself. So as the revs build, the more power the car will generate. And it's such a linear power band. I love the way this tune has been done. Super dailyable, the car is not overly aggressive. It's perfect in that sense. Sounds so much better than the modern day engines that Audi is making. Even the latest uh, S5, S4 that you get outside, um, they come with a turbo V6, but doesn't sound as good as this engine over here. But now let's just take a step back and let's think rationally and let's see what sort of problems that the S4 comes with so that if you are actually in the market to buy a car like this you can have a good idea as to what things may go wrong and what to look out for. Now the S4 can be bought in the used car market for anywhere between 15 to 25 lakhs depending on condition and history. Most Audi S4s in India haven't been looked after since it was a car that came in an era where sports cars and supercars were still not that common. For a person who must have bought this S4 back in 2013 at 55 lakhs, he must have been under the impression that this must be like any other Audi to maintain. No. The S4 is a very complex car and there are multiple things that can fail or just go bad over time. Here are a couple. Coolant leaks are quite common and occur near the water pump, thermostat and coolant hoses near the intake. This happens probably just because of aging or the car not being used regularly. The intercoolers in the S4 also tend to leak but this is a relatively easy fix according to online forums and relatively cheap too by Audi standards. The front damper pulley reduces vibration and contributes to a smoother driving experience. The pulley uses rubber to deaden vibrations and over time this rubber will blow out. When this happens, you will notice less smooth of an engine operation. Now, of course, there are many more issues that can go wrong with the S4. One major thing is the gearbox. And you need to keep in mind, the S4 is a proper performance car with a performance engine. It isn't like an Octavia VRS where the 2.0-litre TSI is shared in multiple cars over multiple platforms. So, labour and sourcing spares will be expensive and time-consuming. Even though this is in the same price range as a VRS230, it is much more expensive to run and maintain. If you're in the budget of probably 20 to 30 lakh rupees and you want a nice sedan that probably does everything for you, it has four comfortable seats, it has this powerful engine up front and plus this thing comes with all-wheel drive, so you have traction for days. So this is one of the coolest cars to own as a project car and as a you know weekend car especially. You can use it on the daily basis also, so you know it does all of the tasks that you throw at it. So if you're looking for probably a car in the 20 to 30 lakh rupee budget, you have your VRSs, 330i's and a couple of more options here and there, you should definitely try and find an Audi S4 for yourself. Now this is a pretty rare car, so finding one is going to be a task, but if you do, don't let that opportunity slip because this is a true gem over here and they don't make cars like this anymore. Thank you so much for watching this video. A big shout out to the owner for letting us uh, experience his car. Uh, do check out his page, Ministry of Detailing on Instagram. Uh, we'll add all of the details down in the description. Check them out. They do some amazing detailing work. Uh, till then, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you thought of the Audi S4 Stage 1. And I'll catch you in the next one.